and um, uh, what makes you interested in computer science? Uh, well, I've been interested in computer science while well, being grown up and grown up while developing the technology around uh, around us. And this is the field. I think uh, when I grow up, that is the development phase of technology and computers. And I've been fascinated through the uh, computer that why is how it's work. The software is the one of the main reason to be worked in computer. So what courses have you taken already? Uh, for now, I have completed my diploma in computer. Now I'm learning about the programming. Uh, I will see Java and uh, Python type mm -hmm. programming from the YouTube. Okay. And I'm planning to take uh, graphic designing in, uh, after a month. Okay. And um, uh, tell me why you want to study in the U.S. Uh, well, I want to study in the U.S. because we have lots of resources. And it have mm -hmm. done resource, uh, resources and resources that to provide the students on the best quality education okay. so far. And, and, do, and uh, uh, why did you choose Louisiana Tech? Uh, well, I met Louisiana on education fair in Kathmandu a few years, a few months back. Mm -hmm. And their interaction with the students and their professor who have done PhD on their related subject. And for that reason, I've been fascinated with it. Okay. And um, uh, who have you spoken with from the university? Uh, well, I have uh, spoken quite a few uh, top uh, professors and staff from universities. I have met the director of international affairs uh, back in Kathmandu, and I have been in contact with the pro professor, hey, Dr. Sumit Dao. He's in the department of computer science. And uh, I have also been linked with, I have also contact with uh, Ambassador of International Students from Nepal, Maria Sister. So I had quite interaction with mm -hmm. the couple of university. Okay, very good. And and how are you? Uh, who's going to sponsor you? Uh, well, my parents are going to sponsor me. Okay. And then, um, uh, what is the cost of your tuition? Uh, well, the cost of tuition and fee is about eighteen thousand seven hundred seventeen dollar. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the cost of your living expenses? The cost estimate? of living expenses will be $6,795. Mm -hmm. How will you pay for this? Uh, well, I, I will not pay. My family will pay for me. And I will just work. I'm sorry. I will just study in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you, are you planning to work in the U.S.? No, I'm not planning to work in the U.S. Mm -hmm. what do you, uh, so, um, who, who is living in the U.S. here among your relatives? Um, there is no relatives for now. I will mm -hmm. see the first one, maybe okay. if I get visa. <laughs> okay. And um, and uh, will you stay back in the U.S. after you complete your studies? Uh, no, I will come back to Nepal. And why will you come back? Uh, well, there's a lots of things that I have to take care. Of. It's I have to continue my family business as well. I have to modernize it. Mm, it ha I have to work on is how to, to modernize it, and I have to look after my properties. I have to come back for someone whom I have loved. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we are planning to marry whenever I come back. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. That sounds like a good plan. Mm -hmm. And um, what do you think will be the biggest problem you'll be facing when you enter the U.S.? Uh, well, there won't be any problem because I'm going there for the studies not to work. So the main problem I will face that to interact with the people, to adapt their surrounding in the U.S. and I have to be friendly with everyone because we have we can students come in US will be the, all over the world mm -hmm. who have their different generosity, different mm -hmm. accent, different nationality, different culture. So to adapt it and to have the interaction with the people that will be challenging. Okay. Based on the answers you've given me today, I grant you your visa to study in the US. Okay, let's go back through it. All right, so you come into the uh, the hall and you're waiting so you come in and you get a, a nice relaxed position mm -hmm. and so as you're waiting for your name to be called and so you're relaxed your hands are, your hands are drooped down you close your eyes and take some deep breaths And you think about the most beautiful place where you've ever been, the most relaxing, refreshing place. Oh, it's beautiful there. Go there. 
Relax, relax. Take another deep breath. Wow, so nice. And you need to release the muscles from the top of your head. Just relax and relax and relax. Back of your head, relax all the muscles in the back. Relax your muscles around your ears, around your eyes, your forehead, your upper jaw, lower jaw. Just let them hang limp. Relax your neck muscles. Let all the tension go out of your head and neck. Now shoulders, just let your arms hang loose and limp. Just so relax. All the tension going out of your arms, out of your fingers, going out. Letting the tension out of your chest and back and stomach. Let all the tension go, go, go. Let the tension out of your legs, the upper legs, lower legs. Stretch out your feet out of your toes, so relaxed and limp now, just like a fish, just like a fish floating in the sea or a cloud floating in the sky, just fully relaxed, fully relaxed, fully relaxed. Take another deep breath. They call your name. <clears throat> Nikesh Bujel. Mm -hmm. You hop to your feet and you stretch yourself and, um, and you march up to the to the window and, and and give good eye contact and good smile and say good morning, sir. Good morning, good, sir. Yeah, good morning, ma'am. If it's the ladies and uh, uh, or good afternoon good afternoon, sir, or good afternoon, ma'am, depending on the time of day. <laughs> Good. Yeah. And so then they'll ask you three or four minutes of questions. It won't be long. They're looking to see your Atma Vishwas, your confidence, and they're looking to see your uh, Satya, uh, Satya, uh, Satya, your truthfulness. And, mm -hmm. and, uh, and then so, they're, uh, so they'll ask you those questions, and, and so it should, should go well. I All right. To. Yeah, please have a seat. You don't want to over explain anything. They don't have much time, so they don't want to uh, they don't want to interrupt you if they don't have to. So if they ask you who's going to be your sponsor, say my parents, and don't yeah. add anything else. If uh, um, that uh, uh, they ask you uh, how are your parents going to to uh, uh, sponsor you? Sorry. Yes. How are your parents going to sponsor you? Then you say, say uh, then the particulars that my father has business and he's earning this amount and my uncle's has this business and he's earning uh, an amount and I'm like a son to him as well. He has no children. And, uh, and so combine, combining their assets, they're, they're be sponsoring me. They have, uh, we have so many uh, hectares Properties. of land, mm -hmm. hectares of property and, uh, and so it's not a problem for us, sir. I have the full amount needed to do my studies, and I'm going to focus on my studies. And I'm going to make good marks, uh, learn good skills, obtain a good degree, come back home and use those skills and degree uh, to help my family, help my community, help my country. And so just short, sweet. Uh, and so then, then you maintain a good eye contact and smile and talk around it. You have a good style <laughs> of communication. So. But you. your voice, you may want to speak a, lot, a little more louder. Now they have like a bubble there at the embassy that, that picks up the sound good so they can hear you. Mm -hmm. But just to speak a little bit louder shows your Atma Vishwa, shows your confidence. Okay, I'll, I'll just okay. practice it more. <laughs> okay, let's <clears throat> practice again. My name is Nikesh Bujel. Uh, my name is Nikesh Bujel. Good. My name is Nikesh Bujel. My name is Nikesh Puzel. Very good. My name is, let's do it again. My name is Nikesh. Uh, <laughs> my name is Nikesh Puzel. Yeah. My name is Nikesh Bujel. My name is Nikesh Puzel. Bujel. Say it a little bit stronger. My uh -huh. name is Nikesh Bujel. My name is Nikesh Puzel. 
Very good. Okay, okay. great. And uh, why do you want to study in the U.S.? Uh, well, I want to study in U.S. because it had the lots of resources. Okay, and... this, let me just go through that again. Okay. Not just a lot of countries have lots. The uh -huh. U.S. has the most. Okay. And so the U.S. that you say that I have, I want to study in the U.S. The U.S. has the the greatest greatest amount of resources, mm -hmm. the most universities, the the best name in education, and so I feel like it's the best place to do my studies, sir. It's the best place to do my studies, sir. But. Okay. Uh, I want to study in the U.S. because it have most of resources done by any other country, and it have the best education to provide any students mm -hmm. for the for that education. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So the best opportunities, the the best uh, resources, the, mm -hmm. the the best name in education is currently in the U.S. So, so you can so that's uh, so then they can they can understand. It's not a big thing. You can say it in one or two sentences. And then, uh, and then uh, they, they're, again, they're concerned you're not uh, going to work in the U.S. They're concerned, so I'm just fo going to focus on my studies. They're also concerned about that uh, you don't have any relatives in the U.S. to jump your visa. So that's mm -hmm. good. You don't have any relatives. And then, uh, and then you're coming back. You have a firm, fixed plan. I'm coming back and get a land a, a good job with a good company and uh, help my father with his business and start my own business and. And uh, so I have big plans, sir. Mm -hmm. I have big plans and get I married. Been, I, yeah. uh, I have a good relationship with a girl. And mm -hmm. so after I complete my studies, planning to come back and, and get married. So, so, all right. So that sounds good. You'll do great, Nikesh. And, Thank you. Yeah, I hope so to do great. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you all have been me, so <laughs> I will do great. Yeah. Thanks to you. Well, it's yeah. your hard work preparing. And again, watch that USA um, News every day that you can. And, Okay, and, uh, I'm just yeah. watching. He re reading ab about the Louisiana Tech website, anything interesting about the university and things, mm -hmm. keep looking at it. That's just only to help you get ready to be there. And okay. so uh, everything about Rust in Louisiana, everything you can find out about it. This is making you, it'll get you excited about it. And it'll get in. Uh, and when you do the visa interview, they can say, wow, he's really excited about doing his studies there. And, uh, and so. So it'll it's just it will help you for your exam and it'll help you for the future. It'll help you 